Like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, the reason they don't want miners to drink is because it's bad for their health. And, like, they, their body can't tolerate it yet. So that's why kids can't drink. But, like, when I have a kid, I'll let my kid have a little alcohol. I don't care. Not, like, to get drunk or fuck themselves up. But, like, yeah, I'll have my kid... Like, I'll let my kid take a little bit of alcohol. I don't care. On beer, 15 for the whole weekend, and I got nine more. Nice. That's fantastic. I can't do beer myself. I really can't. The taste really throws me off. It, it, like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's like, you know when you hear, like, a low-quality MP3? And then you taste beer and it tastes like cheap, tinny bullshit? It, it's the same thing as, like, low-quality audio for me. It just, it doesn't taste right. Like, I'm a man of, like, taste and quality. You know what I mean? I just can't do beer. Hello, handsome. How are we doing? These guys are pretty cool. Oh, except for when they do that, then they're kind of assholes, but... Yeah, I just gotta wait a little bit more before I roll, because their tracking is fucking ridiculous. There we go. Nice. Alright, he's super dead. I think there are two more of them. You've collected enough orbs to power your weapons. Alright. Eight. Couldn't stand beer years ago, but after a few times drinking it, I got used to it. Alright, that's understandable. I was the same way with vodka. Vodka took me a little while to get used to. Alright, so now we get a bunch of new moves, and we can actually use the Spartan mode. And the Spartan mode is sick in this game. I'll show it off a little bit. Spartan mode is fucking sick. Also, you do a hell of a lot of damage while you're in it, by the way. If I remember correctly, it doesn't take that long to build, either. Yeah, see, this dude's already fucked. Already super fucked. Where? X? Yep. See, I'm not bad at QTEs, it's just God of War, uh, Chains of Olympus, and, uh, Ghost of Sparta. Their QTEs are just way faster, for whatever reason. I don't know why. Not right off the bat. What do you mean, not right off the bat? Oh, I like vodka, but only after a few drinks, to be honest. Ah, oh, I got you. Okay, I needed context. Like, I read chat down up, and I should really get used to reading chat up down. But I feel like I'll reread shit, which is why I always read it from the bottom, so if I seem like an idiot, that's exactly fucking why. This is just a health box. I don't really think I need that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think there's anything else down here, if I remember correctly. Alright, so we're done. That wasn't too bad of a combat segment. That was actually, like, really fucking easy. Although, I think it gets rough in here in a minute, if I remember right. It has been a long time since I've played God of War 1, mind you. Just for, like, just for context sake, I haven't played God of War in, like, um, 12 years, maybe, it's been since I've played this God of War. It's been a very long time, so. I'll still remember all the segments, really, because I've played this game, like, a thousand times over. Like, the God of War series are games that I can literally never get tired of, as weird as it sounds. Like, this game was not simply just a one or two and done for me, it was like a, I gotta play this game like 15 times, kind of deal. Because it was just that incredible. Whoops. Wow, I'm very talented to have fucked that up. Oh, this is the wrong crate. Alright, I gotta jump on this one. I was gonna say, if I remember correctly, there's some stuff back here. I gotta quit pressing circle. It's muscle memory to press circle. I just gotta stop doing it. Be right back. No problem, man. Take your time. Thank you for being here. Alright. Seeing as how I've had a few shots, let's see if I can get my jumping steady and not stupid. Oh my god. Alright, so you can't move along walls fast in this one, apparently. That kinda sucks. That's whatever, though. This was the first God of War, so they weren't as ambitious with the controls as they got in future installments. So they just didn't implement shit like convenience at the time. Or, uh, efficiency, really. So we're gonna have to do this shit the good old-fashioned way, which is perfectly fine. Nice. Nothing up here? Oh, there is. I don't even think I knew this box was up here, I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure I didn't know this was here. I knew about the other two, but I don't think I knew about that one. It's cool, though. 
I get rewarded for my cheekery, so that's nice. Love this game, but I hate some of the controls. Uh, the only thing that really annoys me about this game is being in an animation and not being able to do anything, and enemies just being able to hit you out of it. That's the only thing that really pisses me off. Because enemies get insane hyper armor, but you don't, which is kind of frustrating. Like, I get that it's a hack and slash, and you're supposed to be kind of tactical with it, and you can't just go ham on all the buttons. But, like, some of the shit is really annoying. Is this Aphrodite? Aphrodite. Kratos. Yeah. The gods are pleased with your progress. But your progress skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand. Also, isn't Aphrodite the goddess of love or some shit? Look at his polygonal face. That just makes him look more angry. Like, you just can't tell what mood he's in because he's in all the moods all the time. Because his face is so Medusa, fucked up. The queen of the Gorgons. Yeah, what is Bring Medusa doing here? Patient. She's just camping, waiting and for I me to show up? Really? Alright. Yeah, laugh it up, bitch. Laugh it the fuck up. Laugh it the fuck up. Oh man, she's really annoying. She's really fast, which is hard to deal with. Like that. Like, if you do some swings, you don't have enough time to guard her when she flies at you. the fucking shit out of me, really. Nope. Stop that. Why is she so agile, but I'm not? Man, that's really annoying. Fuck you. Come here, bitch. Rotate the left stick to match the pattern displayed. Alright. I don't know about that one, motherfucker. I definitely did it. Whatever, though. It works that time. It didn't work that time before. I did exactly what it displayed, and it didn't do it. Whatever, though. With Medusa's gaze, and the power right. of the Gorgon will be yours. Yeah, I know how to do this. Game, come on. Yep, and now I don't have enough time to break him because the game's gonna be shit. Oh, they give me infinite magic here because it's like a tutorial. That's fair enough. I didn't have time to roll twice. There we go. Fucking assholes. Alright, so when you free shit and you break it, you get more experience. I haven't been up that long, Dink. I've been up for like an hour. Maybe. I've not been up for that long. I don't think I have uptime as a command. Unless it's just one of the ones that comes with whatever bot. I don't know. That was fucking annoying. Alright. I swear to god, though, I did rotate the stick perfectly fine on the Medusa part. I don't know why the fuck the game didn't read it, but it just didn't, so... Fuck you, dude. Yeah, so the Medusa head is one of the best things in the game you can upgrade. Because it allows you to freeze enemies way quicker. Also, I think there's boxes over here and shit. Yes, there is. Okay. I just gotta remember how to get to them. 
But there is boxes over there for absolute sure. I think I have to grab onto that window ledge. I think that's what it is. It might take me a few tries to do, but I'll do it. I want whatever's over there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, I told you. God of War memory, man. Played this game a million times. Nothing else? Nothing else. Alright. Played this game so fucking much. I used to play this game and actually hunt for boxes that I'd never found before. Because I thought that was a pretty fun thing to do. Is this no magic? It. Yeah, it looks like it's no magic. God damn it. Kinda sucks. Oh yeah, okay, I remember this part. This is the part where the Minotaurs come down the hallway. I remember this. Oh, I gotta shoot the ballista at the wall. Got you. Okay. Wait, how do I fire it? Oh, I gotta spin it from this side. Alright, I got you. Oh no, I spin it with the lever and then I pull- oh, okay. Alright, I understand. Like I said, it's been a while, so... Alright. So yeah, this God of War takes place right after the events of Chains of Olympus, so... Chains of Olympus was kind of like an in-between Ascension, and then Ascension was like an entire prequel to the series, so... But this was the first released God of War game, which is why it's just called God of War. And then all the other ones have like supplementary, uh, secondary titles to them. So, just so you guys know, I am playing the series in chronological order, so... I feel like that'll make the story make the most sense without me needing to explain too much. Except filling in some gaps here and there. And even some of that information might be a little bit, like, construed, so... Alright, so a cool thing about this baluster right here... Is if you shoot the door and then you open up this door and then you run back and shoot the baluster again, you can kill the minotaurs right off the bat. It's pretty sick. The song came on and it would've felt wrong not to listen to, I understand. No problem, man. Glad to have you back, Dank. Alright. Yeah, you just watched Ian play through all these, didn't you? I think, but Ian didn't play through uh, Ascension or Chains of Olympus, I don't think. I don't think he played through Ghost of Sparta either. I think he went God of War 1, God of War 2, God of War 3. I like how I'm completely facing away from him and I can still parry him. That's good shit. Oh, come on, I grabbed that, dude. So? So what? You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you? Oh, how have I been? Okay. I've been well, but today has been a really rough day. And I wasn't in the best boob, but now I'm playing God of War and getting to take out all my anger on my enemies, as Kratos typically does, so now everything's fine. I'm also having shots, which helps. And yeah, I think Ian's just playing the main titles. Yeah, he should go back and play the, um, in-betweens as well. Ghost of Sparta is really good. It has some of the best segments in any God of War game, I think. Although, I think God of War 2 is easily my favorite. God of War 2 is, like, fucking great. I think it's the best of the main entries, really. God of War 3 has the graphics, but it's kind of simplistic in concept, really. But it's also really good. It's hard to not like the God of War games if you're into hack and slash and shit. These games are just so damn epic. Especially the shit you do later, which I won't spoil if you guys haven't seen God of War. And you're just here to watch my playthrough of it. Because, for whatever reason, there's people out there that actually like my content and think I'm a funny person. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, are your standards so low that you're tricking yourself into thinking I'm entertaining? Because, like, th that involves, like, quite a bit of therapy and shit. Like, I feel like when people watch my content, I should call, like, people and, like, make sure they're okay and, like, maybe compensate them pain and suffering money, that kind of shit, you know? Why does Kratos eat his enemies' dead bodies? Uh, it's good for protein. It helps him keep his muscle strength up. Um, it keeps him strong so he can eviscerate his enemies more. I am entertaining? I disagree, but thank you. I appreciate it. Do we not get the tutorial to climb down walls quicker yet? Fuck you, buddy. I'm trying to kill your friends, damn it. I'm, try I'm trying to kill your friend! Stop it. God damn it, dude. Rude. 
A solid five. That's a lot of dudes. Kratos, come on, man. Work with me here. Kratos is making this very difficult. There we go. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Fuck all you guys. Jesus Christ, I lost half my health on this wall alone. Just trying to get those dudes out of the way. Also, I think there's a box down here, which is why I'm doing this. I'm pretty sure there's a box somewhere around here. Oh, more enemies? Come on, man. Alright, I'm hitting him, judging by the hit counter, so... Even though he's off-screen, he's taking a beating like he's right under me. So that's fantastic. I'm here for the good company, because nothing here is particularly entertaining. See, Dink's got the right idea. I mean, Kratos eviscerating shit is pretty fun, but... Kratos getting eviscerated by shit is also pretty fun. I mean, for you guys, not for me. It's horrible for me, but... It's fun for you guys, right? Where's this box I'm trying to find? I swear to god, there's a box around here. Or is this where you push the statue over? Oh, hello. What the fuck are you doing here, pal? Come on, this dude's gotta be done. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's gotta be done soon. Come on, Kratos, use your leg strength, dude. Yeah, Kratos doesn't skip leg day. He does all those weird We Fit workout videos. Like, off-screen, when he's at home, Kratos has some of those leg warmers, and he puts on some tights and shit. Just works out. Does yoga when nobody's watching. He's worried he'll lose his manly reputation for kicking over statues and killing gods and shit. Just like, I can't let anybody see me in my yoga pants. Why am I getting a heartbeat noise, dude? I'm at half health. I'm fine. I'm half healthy. Jump off. Jump off. Alright. So now that we've kicked the statue over, we can go back over here and get this magic because it's totally free. Oh yeah, by the way, Medusa's gaze does not work on Gorgons. Because, of course, so, yeah. Also, lucky the game didn't put more ogres here for us to fight. Also, rip this statue because, yeah. Dead. Also, I think there's two Gorgons here if I remember correctly. Yes, there is. Come here, bitch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right, fuck you. Oh yeah, yeah, I need the magic for absolute sure. Didn't quite fill me up though, so. Might as well kill this bitch too. Oh damn, alright. I didn't expect to fucking John Cena the shit out of her. I actually wanted to like fight her and kill her normal. Crap. Still question the decision to make multiplayer DLC for Ascension? Yeah, that was fucking weird. What they could have done is they could have just done a little bit of an extra segment or something. And, uh, given us, like, a little bit of extra playtime or whatever and, like, experience a different story or something. Like, maybe some in-between events or whatever that didn't make it into the final game or some shit. I don't know. Or maybe they could have put a short in-between story about Kratos, like, killing a different god or something. I don't know. He's all about that shit. Kratos should put that shit on his resume. That he just, like, kills gods and shit. He gives people his card. It's like, yeah, if you need any gods dead on your man, he comes up with, like, a sick slogan for his business or whatever. I have to get this Gorgon out of here. Yeah, that's exactly why. She's gotta go. Hit. Alright, come here, ho. Alright, she's fucked. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. That's what I wanted. Because if you break them apart, you get more red orbs for it, so... Might as well break the shit out of them, right? Also, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, when you collect red orbs, they give you a little number, but I don't know what the number indicates. 
Like, I honestly still to this day have no idea what that number means. Alright, yeah, break your friends, dude. Saves me the trouble. Yeah, maybe Medusa was not the right choice to go with here. That's alright, we'll make it through though, we'll be fine. Oh nice, I was finally able to get the strong attack off. Oh. That took a while. Alright, these guys are all fucking dead. I don't think there's any boxes down there. And I'm not gonna risk, like, potentially killing myself, so. Oh yeah, just knock that dude off the roof, he's super dead. Kratos gets a job, like, 4,000 years after these games took place. His resume says he can kill gods, everyone questions everything. More like nobody crosses him. Like, nobody takes his parking spot, you know, he gets privileges that nobody else gets. He gets free days off and shit. Like, free paid vacation and crap. Because if anybody argues him, they know he can kill gods and, like, split people's heads open. Shit. Whoops. Oh, hey, look, I'm not dead. I don't know, the game just turned the camera on me there, so I don't know what the fuck happened there. That was definitely not intentional, though. I thought I was dead. I was, like, sitting there, like... I was, like, trying to flap my arms and, like, use my blades as wings or something to, like, keep me afloat. Like, it was just sheer panic, honestly. Wait, so if I can fall down there and not got die, why can the dudes fall down there and they die? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's an actual strategy. Like, if you get on the rope and then summon these dudes and then hop off the rope and then come back over here and fuck them up, and they can't really do much. I wonder if that's an actual strategy. They seem kind of stupid, really. Alright, whatever, works for me. Kratos, goddammit. What the fuck? I thought it was X to move quicker along the rope. What the fuck happened to that? Or is that circle? Because I thought pressing circle would make me drop, but apparently not. Did I misread? Maybe I misread. Let's try circle. I feel like I misread. No, circle is grab. So how do I move quicker? There's a way you move quicker, but now I don't know what it is. Because the game's being stupid. Fuck you. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That guy's about as stupid as I am, swatting at air. Come over here, bro. Shit. One, two, three, four, five. That guy's kind of gaining ground a little bit. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's gonna catch up right here, I think. Oh, maybe not. All right. He's stupider than I thought. I think there's one more batch of guys, too. Oh, maybe not. Alright, so I'll just wait for them to get over here and get some free orbs. Come on, buddy. Are they coming? No, I don't think they're coming. Alright. Cool. Works for me. Alright, no magic? Alright, we're good. We're fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the other, yeah, the other side of the big door. They can't make their fall slower. Uh, more like they weigh like 5,000 pounds, so when they drop, they actually plummet through the concrete at the bottom. And that's why they don't come back up. They're just lost forever. Alright, yeah, so what I was talking about earlier, if you shoot this ballista and you break the wooden door, you can actually fire it again and kill these two idiots. Yeah, these two idiots. So if you just do this and you pull the ballista back, you can actually shoot him again and just kill him. Pretty sweet. You think they would like put their axe up to block it or something, but they just don't. 
They just take it like champions. Like, you may be giant deadly minotaurs, but you can't survive that shit. I'm actually gonna leave the last one alive so I can go get all these orbs and shit, because they, yeah, they disappear over time. Yeah, I don't need camera to be able to kick your ass, buddy. Famous last words, though. Yeah, before he literally splits me in half like a fucking watermelon. With this fucking giant axe. Alright, that dude is finally dead. And I get his orbs. Alright. These dudes are also super dead. They've had a bad time. This is this is what happens to you the first time you play Dark Souls. Like, this is when you go up to Anor Londo and you get those two asshole douchebag archers. And they're just sitting there firing great bow arrows at you. And you're just like on this tiny ledge holding your shield up. Like, uh. And then you end up like this dude right here. No magic in that box? Great. Just my fucking luck, right? Wait, there's no reason to come up here. So what was the... Oh, it's to go down. Got you. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say anything upward. Of course, there's stuff upward. Of course, there is. Magical orbs. Oh. Ah! It says Kratos. That was a bit too far of a fall for the God of War. Oh, cool! I can power this up. Oh, I didn't want to power this up actually. I wanted to power up the other thing, but I might as well power this up too. I suppose. Could be useful. Yeah, this is what I wanted to power up. Powering this up ASAP is really good. Because then you can free shit faster and get more experience at a way quicker rate. Or less magic, which is perfect. For early upgrades and crap. Wait, wh where the fuck does this go? I guess we don't get to see. The developers didn't want to make models of shit. So they just said, yeah, put that shit out of the camera. That way players can't be curious. Oh yeah, so I don't know if you guys have seen Ares at this point yet. So, uh, that big hand up there, that's actually Ares. He's like Andros from Star Fox. He just has giant hands and a face, and that's the boss. So, the God of War is actually just literally Andros. Also, we get more titties. Oh, yeah, it's been a minute, so let's take another shot, by the way. Yeah, that sounds pretty enticing, says Kratos. So he's all in. But first, we're gonna go all in with the shot. So, dank Minecraftarian, this one's for you guys. Cheers. Alright, let's go. Break some more pottery, because that's what Kratos is great at. Once again, no respect for pottery. This dude fucking hates pots. And gods. He doesn't like gods either. Not very fond of those. <laughs> 